According to sources, the Cowboys and running back Ezekiel Elliott have mutual interest in reuniting this offseason. Oh boy. Now I already know, there's a ton of Cowboys fans completely rolling their eyes at this move. And I'm going to be completely honest, considering the fact that we're already still paying Ezekiel Elliott for his dead cap number that he's going to be hitting against our cap in 2024 of $6 million. I really don't see a reason to give this man another one to $2 million and essentially be paying Ezekiel Elliott eight to eight and a half million dollars this season. Like you would have had to do for Derrick Henry. <sighs> now look, I know that this is probably a nice little feel-good story. There are people out there that are like, oh yeah, this is a great move. Zeke is going to be a great goal line back. He's going to be a great short yardage back because he's a guy that has proven that he always falls forward, right? And, and you would be right to a degree, right? You would be correct. In my opinion, I do believe that Ezekiel Elliott could still be a viable goal line option. But I also believe a rookie like an Audric Estime or Trey Benson or one of these other bigger guys that the Cowboys could draft in this upcoming draft. I also think a rookie could benefit from taking those exact snaps and they could probably do the exact thing that you would bring Zeke here to be doing. Because outside of being able to be a great blocking down back, which if they brought him here for anything, I could see that maybe being the reason for them doing so because it's kind of difficult for me to believe that a rookie running back is going to come in not only as a great rusher, but also as a great blocker in the backfield. And that's going to be a prerequisite. That's going to be necessary considering the Cowboys are more than likely going to live or die on Dak Prescott's arm next season. We cannot sit here and think that this is going to morph into some type of run first football team. Mike McCarthy has set the tone. He don't have time to reset the wheel now. He got one year left, so he might as well go ahead and build off of what they built last year and just add a more consistent run game to be a better complement to what Dak in the passing game is doing. But I think it'll be a tall task to think that a rookie is going to come in and be a great backfield blocker. From what we saw last season, I would have to go back and actually really watch the film. I don't really remember Dak or anybody getting blown up specifically because of a Rico being a bad blocker type of situation or anything. But he also just didn't get enough opportunities to really prove that he can be a good blocker in the backfield. But you don't want to play with your QB. So if you do want to bring someone in that you know understands your system to a degree, understands your QB, understands how to protect said QB in the backfield, and let's be real, they need to get that lasting impression of Zeke playing offensive lineman out of our minds. Kellen Moore sent that man out the worst way possible. Zeke needs to come back, and for no other reason, he needs to go ahead and clear that last memory that we all have of him as a Dallas Cowboy. But that would be the only, the only real reason I can see them bringing an Ezekiel Elliott back to the Dallas Cowboys, especially if you look at his actual splits from last season. No, it doesn't really do him justice to just look at his box score and be like, oh, he only averaged 3.5 yards per carry last season. He was playing with Matt Jones and the New England Patriots. Teams were loading up against the run because they weren't scared of the pass. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right now. Again, they were he was playing with Mac Jones and the New England Patriots, and we all remember what that offense looked like last season. So I, I can't really use his box score, his stats for the season as an indicator of if he has anything left to give to a team. As a backup, sure. As a sub, I actually think he does still have some good run left on because even last year with the Patriots. As a sub specifically, he had 112 carries for 429 yards, which is about a 3.8 yard average for two touchdowns. He had a long run of about 17 yards, so no explosive plays there. Remember, explosive plays are plays that are 20 yards or more, but he had a respectable average for the carries that he was given, and again, a terrible offense. And he also caught over 50 passes for the New England Patriots last season out of the backfield for about 300 yards or so. So Zeke even had his use on a putrid team like the New England Patriots. Now, I will say this, as a starter, 
he honestly had a much rougher go of it. As a starter, he had 72 carries for 213 yards for three-yard average, but we wouldn't be bringing him in to be a starter. Hell, we probably wouldn't even be bringing him in to be the true backup. I'm thinking that Rico is probably going to be our backup. If they were to bring a Zeke in, it's for that veteran presence, and it's for more of like a goal line type of back. And like I said, for someone to come in on passing downs and provide some actual good blocking in the backfield for Dak Prescott. But I think that the rookie, whatever rookie we bring in is going to be our number one back. He's going to be our lead back. He's going to get about 80% of the carries in my estimation. I think he's going to get 70 to 80% of the carries. And if they were to bring Zeke back, it honestly would just be kind of like a feel-good story. But financially, it just doesn't make sense. From a financial perspective, it doesn't make sense to spend more money on Ezekiel Elliott when you already owe him money this season, when you can honestly just go ahead and draft a rookie or two or bring in an undrafted free agent, draft a rookie on day two of the draft and just, and just roll with that. But if they're going to bring Zeke back, I don't see it as a negative. I'll just say that I don't see it as something that people need to be like enraged about because, to be quite honest, it's not going to help or hurt the Cowboys either way. They're probably going to pay that man like a veteran minimum deal, one to two million dollars for the season, a one year deal, and this might end up being Ezekiel Elliott's last year in the league and he ends up retiring a Dallas Cowboy. If anything, that's probably what I see this type of deal end up being because he's approaching 30 and he's probably not going to get many more chances if we're keeping it a book, right? But Ezekiel Elliott, Cowboys, mutual interest. How do I feel? It doesn't really move me either way. I do think they can only be a positive. I don't, I don't see how I can really negatively affect the team. So there would be no reason to be upset at this move. All right. So if you are upset, relax. Get your knickers out of a knot. You're tripping. Either way, we steal them same old cowboys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still in ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still in boys. Woo, push on my boy, Hey, I'm still them boys.